Okay, um, this is a video for my, I guess, 11 months uh, status post, my L3 through L5 lumbar fusion and laminectomies. Um, I was doing this about every month, and then the last couple months, I, I guess I took a month in between, um, perhaps hoping that things would get a little bit better since my last update. So let me fill you in as to what's been going on. So last time we checked in, um, a couple months back, I just started getting back into the gym a little bit. And at one point I felt like maybe I had overdone it because I had some relapse of symptoms. And unfortunately, um, I'm still kind of stuck in that same boat. So it's, it's a little frustrating, I have to admit. So since doing that, um, and I didn't, wasn't doing that much in the gym. I didn't go crazy. You know, my first time back, it was pretty minimal and I'd already started doing push-ups and things like that again. But what ended up happening was I started getting um, increased numbness and tingling. I mean, my right foot is roughly the same, but then it really shifted to the left foot. And some days the left foot is worse now, and that never was the case. Um, so it was very discouraging. Um, I was wearing normal shoes for the most part. Um, there had been a long time where I couldn't wear normal shoes because the pressure um, on my foot and my feet are the real problematic areas. Um, I don't have a lot of pain. My back feels okay. It's, you know, stiff, obviously in the area where they did the surgery, but, um, and I am careful not to bend, you know, I use my legs all the time. Um, but, um, and even sometimes some odd feelings like in my shins or, you know, knees once in a while, but for the most part, that's okay. But just my feet have been really bad. And unfortunately it's, it's now on the left foot, so to make a long story short, I mean, I was wearing normal shoes that was working pretty well. Um, and the last couple of months since this all got aggravated or whatever has happened, happened. Um, you know, now I'm wearing more Crocs most of the time. Um, I mean, I can wear normal shoes and walk, but after a while it does get a little bit uncomfortable. And I know a lot of it's in my head because I can, you know, I can walk on my heels, I can walk on my tiptoes. I feel like I have good strength in my feet, but sometimes the sensation makes it odd and a little bit funky to walk. I haven't fallen. I need to probably just get over it. Um, but it is frustrating to have those feelings now in my left foot and they're kind of persistent. So, you know, a little bit more with the Crocs. Um, you know, I saw, I talked to my surgeon, we did an x-ray and he said the x-ray looked good, although I did notice that there was a tiny bit more slippage between L3 and L4, but he said everything looked, you know, good. And he, and he basically said this was at the end of, because all this happened like mid-February. So I got the x-ray at the end of February and he said, hey, you know, if it's still going on in a couple of weeks, let's do an MRI with contrast. So it was still going on after a couple of weeks. So I got the MRI with contrast and... You know, it's always bad when they release the radiology report to the patient because, you know, a lot of people's backs, technically, if somebody's reading it, you know, they they can look on imaging bad and they're going to find little things. And of course, you read mine, it looks like a horror novel. Um, but according to my surgeon, he really feels like, I mean, the, the screws and rods are in place. Nothing has shifted that way. He really thought, you know, it looked pretty good. Now my L3, L4, you know, I have really no disc there. It's almost bone on bone, but the, the screws and everything, everything's in place. looks like there's bone growth. It's fusing. There's no concern that way. So whether this is scar tissue that got aggravated or I just aggravated something, it's going to take longer, or maybe this is the way it's going to be. I mean, you know, I'm a little fearful because the times they say after a year, wherever you are is where you're going to be. Um, although some people say a year and a half. So, you know, with that in mind, um, I am a little worried that this is going to be kind of persistent. So I haven't been hiking and doing that stuff, although I do have some kind of quasi hiking Crocs that I'm going to try at some point, but my feet, when I, when I walk in Crocs barefoot, it's almost normal, which is really cool. And I have been going back to the gym and I'll wear shoes and I can kind of, you know, it's, it's okay. I can do the elliptical, I can do the bike and I have those at home as well. Um, the only thing I'm doing at the gym, I mean, I do push-ups at home or at work. Um, I am going back to the gym just strictly and I wear my old back brace to make sure I don't move my back in a strange way, but I'm doing pull-ups again and chin-ups 
because I don't want to be lopsided as far as my musculature. I want to make sure I get my back and biceps in there as opposed to just doing, you know, chest and tries with the the push-ups. I mean, I feel very safe doing push-ups because it's like you're doing a plank while you're doing the push-up. So your back is totally stable. Um, with my pull-ups and chin-ups, I'm trying to do the same thing. Those feel okay. I'm getting stronger. And I'm doing core stuff every day. So I can only do what I can do. You know, and if it comes to the point where I have to live with this, where, you know, I've got the numbness and tingling at times, I mean, it does fluctuate a little bit. And I'm still on the search for some perfect shoes. So if anybody knows some, some good shoes out there for this purpose, I'd love to hear your comments because I'm desperate to find some shoes. Um, I have some work Crocs that actually are okay. They look a little big and funny, but they're actually pretty cool for the most part. Um, you know, I'm still coaching my daughter's softball travel team and I'm standing for eight hours on weekends, you know, doing that. I've been wearing the, the Crocs pretty much. Um, I could probably do the shoes, but it would just feel a little bit more uncomfortable. So I know a lot of it's mental. I got to get through it. Um, but at the same time, I'm, you know, I'm still holding out hope that this is going to get a little bit better. But if you know of any shoes that look more dressy that, you know, don't put that pressure on the foot. Um, and sometimes I think it's just the socks. Like I could, I've tried a few times wearing my normal shoes just briefly with no socks and it actually feels pretty good. So I need to find some, some looser socks. I think that'll help me. So it's been frustrating for sure. Um, I see my surgeon again in May for a year follow-up. We'll see what he says. Um, but you know, at the same time, I had to have the surgery. My back was falling apart. Um, I can walk. I can stand up. I can do certain things. Um, I'm not going to do what I used to, but the alternative would have been horrible. So even with this setback, or even if this is the new norm for me, um, I just have to take it because it's it's still better than what it would have been. So um, holding out hope. Um, I'm going to keep plugging away. Let me hear your story if you have it or if you're ready to do a surgery like this. It's scary. Um, for sure, you know, I had a neck surgery, a cervical disc replacement a year and a half ago, and that seemed scary at the time. And that was nothing compared to, you know, this, the lumbar, um, fusion is a, it's a tough recovery. It's probably one of the most difficult surgeries you can come back from, but you will come back from it. It just takes time. Um, but yeah, let me know your story. Let me know if you have any recommendations for the shoes, um, and I'll provide another update here in about a month after I see my surgeon. I'll let you know what's going on. So take care. Until then.